Reports of Bluetooth not working are one of the most common things that I see discussed among the Android community. It doesn't matter which company makes the phone. I've seen this issue pop up from Xiaomi with both its Redmi and Poco brand smartphones. I've seen it happen with Samsung and its Galaxy series. And I've seen it recently with Google and its Pixel devices as well. Android itself just has a history of having Bluetooth issues, but thankfully there are a number of troubleshooting steps that we can perform. So if your Xiaomi Poco X3, Poco X3 Pro, or Poco X3 GT is experiencing a Bluetooth bug where you're unable to pair the smartphone with your headset, earbuds, or speakers, then I'm here to offer five different ways that you can attempt to fix Bluetooth. This has also been known to help fix Bluetooth issues with stuttering, lag, or just distorted audio when playing something to your paired device. So the first thing that I can recommend may seem too simple to work, but I promise you that I've seen it fix hundreds of Bluetooth related issues on Android. The first thing that I wanna recommend you do is to just reboot your smartphone. We can do this by pressing and holding the power button here to bring up the power menu and then selecting the reboot option twice. Even if you know that you've already tried to reboot the phone since you last experienced a Bluetooth related bug, you really should try this out because it may end up helping. It's also a troubleshooting step that only takes a few seconds to complete and you can immediately test to see if it worked or not when the device boots back up. If a simple reboot failed to fix your Bluetooth pairing issues, then the next thing that you can do is to reset your network connections on your Poco X3 smartphone. Doing this will reset your mobile data connection, your Wi-Fi networks, and your Bluetooth stack on Android. This can be found by first bringing up the settings application locating and then selecting the connection and sharing option. Scrolling down a little bit until you see the reset Wi-Fi, mobile networks and Bluetooth option. And then finally tapping the reset settings down here at the bottom. To give a heads up, this will also delete your saved Wi-Fi networks, and it is likely to remove all of your Bluetooth devices that you have previously set up on the device. So just be aware that you are likely going to need to pair those Bluetooth devices again and input your Wi-Fi network passwords all over as well. But if your Bluetooth connection is bugged, then resetting it in this way could help repair the issue. Not many people realize that Bluetooth on Android is actually handled by a system application. Even though its features are buried within the settings menu, the back end is all handled by a pre-installed application that can be found in the apps section of the settings application. So if resetting your network connection has failed to fix the issue, then the next thing that I recommend is that you delete the Bluetooth application data. Since Bluetooth is all handled by that single application, it means that like all other apps on your smartphone, that it handles and stores the data in a similar way. So we can do this by again opening up the settings application, scrolling down a little bit until you see the apps option, and then selecting the manage apps feature.
feature right here. Now you can scroll through this list until you find the Bluetooth application. And if you don't see it listed here, then you may be able to find it by tapping on this three dot menu right there and then selecting the show all apps option. You shouldn't need to do that, but just in case you can't find it, that may help you. Either way, we're going to find the Bluetooth application and then tap it. From here, we're going to select the storage option and tap it. And now we can select this clear data button that you see at the bottom of the screen. You're going to be asked if you want to clear just the cache or all of the data. I first recommend you clearing just the cache and then selecting the clear all data option, tapping OK to delete all of the user data as well. Just like with resetting the network connections, clearing the data of your Bluetooth application is going to remove all of the devices that you have previously paired with your POCO X3 Pro. So just be aware that after we do this, we're going to need to pair those devices again. It's also a good idea to reboot Android after doing this step, since it can set some things back up for you when the device reboots. Now the developers of the Android operating system are well aware that the Bluetooth stack that has been used is not the best way to handle it. So they had been hard at work on a new version that is tucked away in the hidden developer options menu. If you're not familiar with how to enable developer mode, then be sure to check the video description below for a link to a dedicated tutorial that I did that shows how to enable developer mode on Xiaomi's MIUI firmware. Once that has been enabled, we can find this hidden developer options menu by first going into the settings application, scrolling down so that we can select the additional settings option, and then scrolling down again until you see the developer options menu. From here, we're going to start scrolling down until we find the Bluetooth related options, which should be located within the networking section. And one of the first Bluetooth related options we have is enabling Gable Dorch. This is the experimental Bluetooth stack that the developers of Android have been working on. So if your device is currently on Android 12, which is based on MIUI 13, then you should find this toggle here. Android 13 launched with this experimental Bluetooth stack as the default option. So you may no longer see this after your phone gets updated to MIUI 14. Let me know in the comments section below if you see this feature or not. We can enable this by simply toggling the feature on and then rebooting the device. Once the phone boots back up, try to pair your Bluetooth earbuds, headset, or speaker again with your POCO X3 NFC to check and see if the connection issues have been fixed or not. If they haven't, I also recommend you try changing some of these other Bluetooth options here within the developer options menu. And with each one, you are always told which one is the default option. So if it doesn't work, or if you do not like the change that is made, you can always go back here and change them back to the default options. 
The last thing that I can recommend for anyone who is still facing a Bluetooth related issue is to perform a factory data reset to their smartphone. I have tried to offer as many helpful solutions before suggesting this, but if you're still unable to pair the Poco X3 with your Bluetooth device, or if you are still experiencing a Bluetooth related issue, then there could be some underlying bug within the Android firmware itself. This could happen thanks to some file system data that has become corrupt over time, or it could be bugged out after you installed a new over the air update. Maybe MIUI could have just been installed from the factory with a faulty USB cable as well. So performing a factory data reset could be the only way to fix it. We can do this by opening up the settings application and then selecting the about phone option at the top. Now, when we scroll down a little bit, you should see a factory reset option with an erase all data button at the bottom. I would just recommend that you back up as much of your important data as you can first and then perform the factory data reset because it will be deleting everything during this process. When the phone boots back up, reactivate Android like you normally would, and then attempt to pair the smartphone with your favorite Bluetooth device. Now, if that still doesn't fix the issue, you may end up having a compatibility type issue with your smartphone and the brand of the Bluetooth device that you're trying to pair it with. The only thing else I can recommend is that you unlock the bootloader so that you can manually flash a freshly downloaded MIUI firmware to the device. Since that has been known to fix these type of underlying Android operating system bugs. I hope this video was helpful to those with a Poco X3 smartphone from Xiaomi. I know it can be frustrating to deal with Bluetooth connection issues on Android, as there are only so many things that you can do other than buying new earbuds or speakers. But thankfully, there are a number of things that we have available to us to try out and many of them have been shown to fix the issue time and time again.